These are my Saturday superlatives at the wide receiver position. I'm going to start with Ja'Kari Roberson. I, I've i seen him play before. He made an impression before, but never like this. He was so much better than I'd seen before. Uh, six catches, 135 yards, two carries for eight yards. And he just seemed to be more physically imposing and confident than I'd seen him in the past. Uh, I also want to mention B.J. Bird. Uh, of Moorhead State. Uh, I talked about his quarterback in the quarterback section. This is the favorite target of uh, of that quarterback. He had a great game. 14 catches for 191 yards, three touchdowns, long 42. One of my favorites in this draft class, probably in this draft class. Drake London has obviously can come back, but <clears throat> I'm assuming he's going to go early, and he probably will declare. But Drake London of USC had nine catches, 130 yards, one touchdown with a long of 31. Chris Olave of Ohio State, five catches, 119 yards, two touchdowns, along with 56. I've compared him to Robert Woods. Looks like a professional wide receiver already, very smooth. Sky Moore of Western Michigan, a great game. 11 catches, 163 yards, two touchdowns. Alec Pierce of Cincinnati, uh, you know, a guy that fits that sort of Ed McCaffrey mold. Six catches, 144 yards, or Jeff Samarja, but probably a little faster than Samarja. UNC's Josh Downs is a young guy on the rise, obviously with Caffrey Brown deciding to move on and, uh, you know, Diami Brown and everybody who was in the top receivers from last year having left, it's opened up room for him and he's really blossomed. He had 168 yards in receptions with a long of 68. Also had 36 punt return yards uh, for a total of 204 all-purpose yards. He's explosive and quick and dynamic. Uh, Stephen F. Austin, Xavier Gibson, nine catches, 100 yards, one touchdown, and just came up big in big moments. Jareth Stearns of Western Kentucky had a great game. Uh, 17 carries, 186 yards, one touchdown. Uh, sort of a Willie Sneed type, but maybe a little faster top end. Uh, also, Central Arkansas's Lawan Winningham went ham, indeed. Uh, eight catches for 211 yards. I'll repeat, eight catches, 211 yards. Beast. Uh, also had a touchdown with a long of 57. Uh, Hassan Baden, or sorry, Bedouin uh, of Miami of Ohio, 14 catches, 167 yards. Sorry, Eastern Michigan. Uh, had the numbers are correct, school wrong. Eastern Michigan, sorry about that, uh, with a long of 45 yards. Stevon Cobbs had a great game at the off, great day at the office for uh, Boise State. Of course, uh, Shakir has gotten most of the attention, and he's deserved most of the attention, but. Cobbs showed up with 10 catches, 132 yards, a long of 32 and two touchdowns. And uh, I want to make mention of a couple of the guys. It's a pretty good group. Uh, one of the players that has made an impression for me at Southern Illinois is uh, Lennon Renoir. <clears throat> he had 103 yards, two touchdowns, a long of 32. Makai Polk, uh, of course, they throw the ball at Mississippi, at, uh, Mississippi State, and he, somebody has to catch it. Uh, 13 catches, 126 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, and Campbell, the Campbell Camels. Uh, Caleb Sneed had eight catches, 462 yards, two touchdowns, long of 52. Um, Mr. Nada, right? Uh, even though Clemson hasn't had the year they're expecting, four catches, 113 yards. Charleston Rambo, speaking of impact transfers, five catches, 99 yards, a long of 36. Those are my wide receiver superlatives for week five.